Let's take a look at the battery and let's look under the hood. What we have here is the power electric module that controls the current. Here are the lithium ion batteries. Okay. They are liquid cooled, okay. uh, water cooled, circulating. Okay. Uh, the simplicity is part of the beauty of it. It really is a simple looking car. I want to see my fueling station. Y yes. And, um, I ask you. So this is your Chevron. Yes. How does this compare to Chevron? It looks a little bit like a hair dryer. Um, so this well, is this, uh, no, it let doesn't. Let me show you where that plugs. looks like a taser. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with that. I'll show you where it plugs in. Okay. Um, taking my life in my hand. Yeah, we're gonna. I'll protect you. I'll stand on the okay, outside. Thank here. you. All right. All so right. it plugs in over here. Wow! It lights up. So you Me. know, um, even when you're going to a gas station, you're still plugging in. Only right. You're plugging into some pretty dark energy. Okay. Um, and actually. This car has been powered by the sun because I, like 50% of all electric car drivers, have solar panels on the roof of my house that produce all the electricity for wow. the car and the house. So you've really gone much yeah. further than the average person. Oh, it's easy to do it. The synergy between solar, a PV systems, and an electric vehicle is beautiful. It really Absolutely. is a marriage made in heaven. And is, isn't Tesla helping people out to get solar panels installed in their house? Actually, there is a, a, a sister company called Solar City mm. uh, that works closely with uh, Tesla oh. and um, under some of the same management. So, so you can see that synergy played out. So this is the future. Let's take a look. Can you plug that in? You betcha. I've got an incredible amount of energy. You can actually plug this side into me, and okay. uh, it'll give you a little little juice. I'm a vegan, so ready? Here we go. Okay, then, it I should be charging. I just plugged it into my belly button. Then I would just flip this little switch. Okay, so First, what, can, would, what, what we switch? We don't want to do that now. Why not? We do it this way. Um, just better not to. Uh, Are you interviewing me <laughs> now? Okay. Um, and this would go into the wall. Now, this okay. is my 120 cord, but I also have a 240 okay. mobile cord. These are my cords, and then I have something called... Uh, Look at that. <laughs> this plugs into any 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 household any outlet. Standard outlet. That's right. This is, your gas station is in your house. It's exactly. amazing. Exactly. It's amazing. And it's very portable. It's you know too. it's sort of different seeing it than it is <laughs> reading about it. This is a plug, a regular old plug, and on the back, it says what? What does it say? I can't even reset and test. Yep. Okay. Looks like a hair dryer plug, exactly. a little bit. Now of course when you when you charge 120. It's, it does take quite a while to right. charge. It's almost like a trickle charge. But normally I am charging at 70 amps with my high powered connector that's located in my garage. And then as I said, I also have a 240 cord which charges in a reasonable amount of time. And how long does the 240 take and how long does the other the take? The 240 takes about eight hours. Eight hours? In my garage I can do three and a half hours. Wow. And then how many miles, I, I can't say miles per gallon does it get because it doesn't use gas, but uh, how many miles can you drive on a full charge? 220 miles. 220 miles. In my miles. experience, yes. Wow. I just drove up here from Orange County uh -huh. uh, very easily, and I haven't even begun to, t to tap out my range. Interesting. Actually, let's take a look under the hood, too. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's put this back. All right. And uh, that's very cool. So let's just quickly look under the hood. Come on over here. So when I close this, the light goes off. Is that right? Okay, so we're going to close that. That's good. Okay. Now, let's see here. So, okay, we're opening up the hood now. Oh, it's really light. It's really light. Do you mind? Do you mind if I open it? All right. It's really light. I mean, incredibly light. I mean, do you know what the weight of this is? It's, it's deceivingly light. It's not like a normal hood at all. Deceivingly strong. Deceivingly light, deceivingly strong. Right. Wow, okay, so let me come over here. Okay, so what do we have under here? You know, there's nothing too exotic here. We're looking at the cooling system for the air conditioner. We're looking at the radiator for uh, heating purposes. And this is part of the battery cooling system too. So we're looking under the hood right now, and uh, boy, is this light, incredibly light. Do we know how much this weighs? I how much does the car that. weigh? Uh, the car weighs 2,500 pounds, 900 of which is the battery. And is, is, what about crash tests? Is this a safe car? It went through the full um, compilation of, of crash testing, passed all of the tests. Because carbon fiber, while it is light, is amazingly strong. Right, right, right. So it's made of carbon, the entire car. Right. 
But it doesn't produce carbon. No, it doesn't produce it. It just uses it. Yes. It just is carbon. It doesn't produce it. That's wonderful. Okay, so we are... Uh, and as far as the tires go, did they do anything differently as far as the original tires on the car, as far as making them a little more eco-friendly? They are run flats. I don't know if the tires are actually be called eco-friendly. I think they are low resistance uh -huh. uh, tires. Uh, but I don't know that that is the outstanding um, characteristic of the car that oh, makes okay. it unique. Yeah, and what about the materials in the car? What, is, what, are, the, what are the seats, uh, what are the cushions well, actually, made of? What, are the, what is the material made? I could have had leather seats, but that kind of offended my vegetarian sensibilities. Hey, I'm a vegan. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing. So uh, the, it's um, microfiber, micro suede. The seats are made of uh, uh, recycled styrofoam. Recycled styrofoam. Yes. Okay. And as far as the uh, once this car is is totaled, once you've you know had a, 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 this car for a number of years and it's no longer looking great and you want to get rid of it, how's the recyclability factor of carbon? I think carbon would. I think this is very expensive material and it has a lot of value, and you're not going to just crush it like an uh, aluminum coke can and yeah. into the landfill it goes. This has value. Okay. It will be recycled, as will the batteries. Fantastic. Okay, well, thank you very much for showing us your car, Linda. I appreciate it. Okay, take care. Beautiful car. The Tesla.